Hey, this is Fibro Hell Michelle. I haven't been around for a while. Um, some of you that like follow me, you've heard of my lost days. Well, I had them for three weeks. And, you know, you're supposed to get up to the doctor and see if there's a kidney infection because it's hard to pee. Or your back hurts, so you should see your pain doctor, but you're sick of taking the painkillers. Or, you know, you have to see a new doctor. And any of you know what that's like. Because then you have to tell them all these doctors you've seen, and it's hard to talk to them. And if they don't believe in fibromyalgia, then they're going to treat you like shit. Well, anyway, this is Sophie Tucker. That's my little girl. She's only two years old. And uh, if anybody knew me from the past, I used to play music in Key West. I was part of Lenore Michelle. We had... A great duo going. I'm going to put a song on there. It's called Loss of Love that uh, Lenore and I wrote together. But Anyway, this is Sophie Tucker. And my girlfriend bought her for me. Not Lenore, but Nina, my new girlfriend. And she bought her for me because, you know, when you lose your best friend of 15 years, Irving was his name. And if you look at my videos, there's a goodbye to him that's real tragic. So if you don't like a tragic dog story, do not look at it. But... I wrote a song with it called Heaven Got an Angel Today. So anyway, this is Sophie Tucker right here. And she's the best girl in the world. And she's only two. And yes, we did buy her from a pet store, which we shouldn't have. But we did. And I knew she was weak. And the vet told me this week that she has congenital kidney failure. So that means I almost lost my girl. Okay? And she was my new babe to help me out with herbs. So here's my girl. And fibro help people. You guys know that, you know, pets can help take off the strain because you're alone a lot of the time. And your pets can really be the part of your family, you know, that give you the love and the support. And you're not alone when they're there. And then you know what happens when they don't feel well. So for three weeks, I couldn't really get up to take care of myself, but then my dog got sick, so I got up to take care of her. And she's got congenital kidney failure. So if you want to follow along with that, we're trying some all-natural food that's um, it's raw, which I was a little bit nervous about, and some goat's milk, which she's drinking. But it's good because she's still here because the vet actually told me she wasn't sure if she'd make it through the weekend, so... Uh, anyway, hi to you guys. Sorry I haven't uh, made a video in a while. You know what it's like when you're hurting and you don't feel well. You guys know. So this is Fibro Hal Michelle, and I hope you guys are doing good. And let's get together and do what I told us about and make that questionnaire. You know, we all need to send in questions like, do you have a family member that has fibromyalgia? Do you... Uh, did it get worse after you had a hysterectomy? Did somebody make you get a hysterectomy you didn't need because your left leg hurt and you can go up a step? Those are the things we're going to work on when I feel better and when you guys help me out. Okay, this is Fiber Hall Michelle. See you guys later.